Microphone check, one, two, one, two. This is your host, Nassim, baby. And this is another episode of Swingers After Dark. You know, I want to talk about some funny shit that I usually see, not only on social media, but also outside of the groups. And, you know, you have dudes, they agree with women just to get on their good side, knowing damn well that this chick is full of shit, knowing damn well that what she's saying doesn't make sense, knowing damn well that... What she's saying is a bunch of malarkey, but they want to go along to get along to get in her good graces and hopefully she'll give up the draws. And I don't understand that because, you know, you don't have to do all that. You don't have to do a lot. You don't have to, you know, do the most just for a woman to like you. You know, you're supposed to represent truth. You feel me? And if you think that what she's saying is a bunch of bullshit, it's a bunch of nonsense, illogical and irrational as fuck, then there's nothing wrong with calling her out on that. However, when you call her out on that, make sure that you do it in a respectful way and don't call shorty out her name because that's whole shit. You know what I'm saying? A woman should be able to respect you whether y'all agree to disagree based on how you carry yourself. You carry yourself like a man of dignity, integrity, and principle. By the way that you express yourself and not in an emotional way. But for the most part, you know, you're not supposed to agree with a woman just to be on her good side, just to be in her good graces. That's simping. You know, you don't have to simp to get sex. You don't have to simp to get ass. You don't have to simp for shorty to like you. You don't have to be on this sister girl, hey girl type shit where you snapping two fingers in the air just for shorty to like you or other women who's listening to the conversation or who's viewing the conversation you don't have to do all that playboy you feel me you're supposed to represent truth and if you don't want to talk yourself out of pussy then play possum and not say shit don't say anything just sit back look listen and observe do the knowledge you know there's nothing wrong with being a mystique keeping an air of mystery so you could bust them draws and bounce. She doesn't know anything about you. She just know that you look good. You know, you smell good. You got swag and this down the third. Just sit back in the background. Don't say anything. She doesn't need to know your thoughts, your beliefs, your opinions, your views, your perspectives. If you fear that you're going to talk yourself out of pussy, then be quiet. Be a smooth criminal. You feel me? But you do not have to agree with women just for them to like you. It, it doesn't make sense because you got to keep up that lie. You have to keep up that facade and keeping up a lie and a facade that takes a lot of time and energy, time and energy that you don't need to waste on deceit because you want to get on this woman good side and you want to build a congregation of women, a flock of women just for them to say, you go boy. Yeah, they ain't shit. Tell them now. Tell them. You go, boy. Tell them. It's like you're an honorary feminist. You might as well. You might as well be an honorary feminist. You know, you're on some sister girl type shit just for the woman to like you. And you don't have to do all that. You know, a woman should be able to respect your mind even when she disagrees with you. And that's an art form within itself. You have no confidence to the point where you will go to war with your fellow man over a woman just for a woman you know what i'm saying you know this chick is full of shit you know what she's saying is dead ass wrong but you'll go to war with your fellow man knowing that she's full of shit just to get brownie points and yo that goes against the bro code now i know what you're saying you saying to yourself who the fuck are you to tell me what i should do but i'm like you know you should be a man of principles integrity dignity now i'm not saying that you should disagree with everything a woman says. If what she's saying is on point, if what she's saying is the truth, if what she's saying makes sense, then back her up. There's nothing wrong with that. Back her up. Back her up. If what she's saying is the gospel, if what she's saying is irrefutable, then have her back by any means. But if you know that what this chick's saying She's out of pocket. She's totally out of line. It makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Then, you know, fall back or call her out on it. It's like this chick will say two plus two equals five and you agree with the shit and you will debate everybody, including your mama, about her being right, about shorty being right because you want some ass. It's like, I don't get it. You know, 
10 years ago, I was a straight up savage when I was getting into debates or conversations with women. You know, I would roast the hell out of them. I would call them out on their bullshit without zero fucks. You dig? I didn't give any care about their feelings or about their thoughts. Fuck your feelings. That was, that was what I was on. But as I've grown and developed as a man, you know, I, I'm polished now. I'm more mature. I can speak with elegance. I could type with eloquence. You dig? I don't have to get on that time. I could talk to a woman in a respectful way instead of being emotional on some whole shit. And I'm not the type of dude who will go back and forth with a woman. If you don't get my point, then you'll never get it. If you don't got it, then you'll never get it. You feel me? That's how I'm on. I'm going to respond to your post three times, three or four times. If you don't get it the fifth time, then it's see ya. You know, I'm going to give you the cheerio as they see in England. So, you know, I, I just want to say, fellas, you know, if you want to be the rooster in the hen house, if you want to be the wolf in sheep, sheep clothing, then do you. If you want to be the wolf in sheep clothing and you want to be the rooster in the hen house, then do you. But hey, you know, I don't need to be the wolf in sheep clothing when I'm the shepherd. You feel me? And I don't care if I talk myself out of pussy because there's a lot of fish in the sea that wants this barracuda. You dig? So, you know, fellas, if you have confidence in yourself, then... You don't have to simp for brownie points, for pussy points. You should be able to get ass on your own merit. The only time you should kiss a woman's ass is when she drop her drawers or lift her skirt, waiting for you to bust her down, to bust them cheeks. You dig? That's the only time you should kiss a woman's ass. If she likes shit like that, if she's naughty like that, you know, but for the most part, you know, cut that shit out. You know, don't be on this sister girl shit on some gossip type shit you know you're not a girlfriend you're not her girlfriend you feel me and on that note this has been another episode of swingers after dark and this is your host nasun baby and check out my website www.nasunblaze.com that's www.nahsunblaze.com and check out my ebook you me us them the swinger manifesto go get it all right, check out my email address. You know, shoot me an email for any questions and or concerns that you may have at swingapodcast at gmail.com. Again, that's swingapodcast at gmail.com. And, you know, hit me up and your email might be talked about in a future episode. You dig? And on that note, until next time, peace.